Sometimes people get confused about the rules for exponents. I occasionally hear people say, oh, I've got 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 2. Is that 2 to the 6 or 2 to the 5? I can't remember. My answer is write out what they mean. 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 squared means 2 times 2. There are 5 2's, so it's 2 to the 5th. And that makes it very clear why you add them. You're literally counting how many 2's. This says I have 3 2's and 2 2's that I'm all multiplying together, so I have 3 2's and 2 2's, I have 5 2's. So that's 2 to the 5th, or 32. Likewise, it's, oh, what's the rule if I have 2 to the 7th over 2 to the 4th? Write out what it means. It means you have 7 2's divided by 4 2's. Cancel, 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 we're left with 3. 2 to the 3rd. There were 7 of them, and we cancelled out 4 of them. 7 minus 4. If you just write out a small example like this, it becomes a lot more obvious. Some people wonder, why is 2 to the 0 equal to 1? Well, let's follow that rule. Suppose you have 2 to the 3rd over 2 to the 3rd. That would be 2 times 2 times 2 over 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's 1. But if you follow the rule, that's 2 to the 3 minus 3. That's 2 to the 0. So if we want the rule to keep working, that's why we say that anything to the 0 power is 1, because it all cancels itself out.